viewers and welcome back. Today I want to take a look at this Medtronic's PBT, which is actually not a breathalyzer instrument at all, but uh, the PBT 300 and it's a conductance type battery tester. So um, when you take a look at some of the features behind it, uh, for one, it's very, very, very lightweight and uh, it fits in your pocket. So it's very convenient, let's say for, you know, dashing out to the parking lot, you know, in an auto parts store or something like that, doing a quick test on a battery or when you're here in the shop, doing a quick test on a battery. Obviously, you know, a weak battery could possibly leave the customer stranded. And if you're in the business of selling batteries, it's good to have some hard evidence that that customer actually needs a battery. So um, when we get to the disadvantages to it, Obviously, a tester of this type is not capable of putting any sort of a load aside from basically powering itself on the battery. So depending on your battery manufacturer, a lot of them have gotten a little bit better at accepting warranty claims made by conductance type testers, more specifically the Medtronic's type of testers. But because it doesn't put a real load on the battery, it has to use mathematics and series resistance and inductance and things like that in a formula to come up with a health. The cool thing about it, it's super, super, super easy to use and I can actually give my customer a percentage good. So, hey, your battery is at 63% and they go, oh, okay. Well, you know, with that oil change that we're doing here, why don't you go ahead and install a new battery into my vehicle? So let's go ahead and see exactly how easy this thing is to use. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hook the tester up directly to the battery. This is my preferred way of doing this because we get the best test results. So I say it's okay for preliminary testing to test a battery while it's hooked up into the car. If it says fail, go ahead and isolate the battery uh, like what we've done here. So the first thing that's gonna ask on this tester and uh, you don't actually have to have a fully charged battery to test because we're not loading the battery. So keep that in mind. It's asking me to input the CCA rating of the battery. So we got five, let's see on this one, it's 650. So I can do 660 or 640. And the only difference between that is the threshold at which it switches either the red light or the green one on. The actual input of CCA does not really particularly matter. Um, as far as the mathematics of the test go. So obviously if you have a 640 out of a thousand, well, that's a problem. If you have 640 out of 650, that's really good. So we've put the numbers in, we've connected positive to positive, negative to negative, and we just go ahead and hit that test button. And it gives us, let's see the okay, 635 out of 650. That's definitely a really good pass. So let's test another battery. We'll go ahead and do literally the exact same thing. The terminals are in a little bit different order on this particular battery, but we'll go ahead and hook the tester up. Nice, clean battery. I uh, do have this guy fully charged. Uh, I don't have a CCA rating, but it is a group 24. So I'm gonna assume that it's at least 650 or somewhere there ends about. Go ahead and hit the test. Oops. Oh, we are definitely fully charged. Maybe slightly a little bit of surface charge. You can see we get a whopping 430 out of probably 650. Uh, that's not a good pass. And we can back these results up with the carbon pile. This guy falls off pretty dang quick. Well, there you got it, folks. Pretty easy on the Medtronic's tester. So it suffices for probably about 95% of the battery testing we do around here in the shop. Um, I still like my carbon pile a little bit better. Um, if you do want to use this tester as a load tester, if you will, uh, my advice is to put it in volt mode, like what you saw at the beginning of the video where it said 13 point something. Disable the ignition system on the engine and crank the engine for you know 10 seconds, 15 seconds. If that's your thing, that will definitely put a load on the battery and you can monitor the battery voltage and kind of get a uh, pseudo carbon pile test, although at the expense of the life of your starter motor. So that being said, give us the thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if that's your thing. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.